Lightning in it. Yeah. Here's up on the roof. We just got done with these solar panels. Them are shorter or less in width than them ones in the back. But uh, I'm going to do a quick video here, guys. But I want to show you what we got here. Look at this in the background. There's the sky. Look at that. We've got heavy winds right now, and they're vortexing inward. They're vortexing inward. They're going that way. Let me see if I can just focus on the clouds here for a second. It doesn't show the camera very well. But you get out here. This is about 7 something p.m., 7.30 p.m. This is Kira. She walks around on the roof like she owns it. Because it's mine. Because it's what? It's mine. It's yours. But look at that. This is, that's probably about 15, 20 miles off, I think. You can look at that leading edge. Huh. All right. Well, we're going to do a little video about what we put up here in the middle of the night. <laughs> dead of night. The dead of night? Yeah. You like that storm? The dead of night. All right, let's roll. A little update on some of my solar install. And I don't know if a lot of people know too much about what I got. I got a whole bunch of panels here. And these are the uh, 120s. And let me show you what I use for mounting these. This is a hurricane tie, 18 gauge, and just screws right straight into the panel. Now, of course, you want to be below the glass area, but just stainless steel screws going in there. And these are high neck iron. They are steel and aluminum, but I've, I've used these for many years. And this is hat channel. This is very durable, strong hat channel. Bum my thumb up real good there. Um, get down here at the bottom to get the angle I want it because my carport roof is at a slow angle here. It's I think it's a uh, 2.7 to 1. So I just used dual stainless like that. Now these 120s needed something like that because they'll lift up easier. And we had a 77 mile per hour gust recently. Didn't seem to bother them at all. Now over here, this is where 20 Steon 135 watt amorphous panels will be going or SIGs. They're SIGs panels. Now, this is once again heavy gauge hat metal. This is commercial grade, like you see on carports. And this is also hat metal, but it is doubled, double 20 gauge. So there's two layers of 20 gauge in there. And I have been making my own frameless solar clamps. You see right there? And these are the spacers that will go in. And um, so I've made a ton of these and they will go in like so. And the, uh, um, sorry, I had that backwards there. These go in here, sorry, as the spacers because the thickness of the panel and then the rubber pads that will go in on top and bottom. And then and this is the upper clamp and the bolt goes down through there for sealing them up. And this is just to, uh, back it up secure wise just keep security level up on it and that is how these are made so each one of those panels will have one two three four five six and they'll be shared so they'll be on both sides there you see so these are for all the steons that are coming up here i've got all the parts laid out and this has been up here for about two months and i got half of them made and the other half is in the process but the, uh, the hat metal, you can see here, there'll be screws going down here and here, and all, for all these racks that, that are up here now, and that is all for the 135 watt amorphous, which are really huge panels, okay? And this is just my carport side, so that, that's RV sealant, so um, putting it on the peak there, it rarely even would have a drip or anything. Carport, remember that. So we get over here, look at this scrap metal roof, um, porch area. Now over here is some more of those 120s, kind of sort of mounted the same way. And um, then we've got a whole pile of 100 watt Renegies. That's the older style. 
this is the newer style so both of these are 20 foot length racks and these racks are made out of 17 gauge so we've got up here all of this solar up here now right now we're working at about um, that plus the roof of the other trailer over there which you've seen in a previous video uh, we've got about 7100 watts that we're running total um, you can add all these up this is 2000 watts here up there's 360 and then sitting over there I think is another 1800 and then over here on this other roof of that trailer and we've got four more panels going up here too so tell the subscribers about what we've been working on yeah I am and uh, showing them Kira's projects. Yeah. So, Kira, smile for everybody. Hi. So, um, we have all of that. And then I'll put a quick picture up of what's over up the other one. And then we have the five portables. It's a mess. Everything's a mess. Okay. So, we're in the process of pulling these old lead acids out. They're not the battery bank. They're just they're a booster for this big thing so we're in the process of pulling all that out and putting in the lithiums so the lithiums that are going to go in the, in the place of those are right here they're the li times and we're putting four of those in i'll be doing a video very quickly on these i'll put a link below the video to those we're going to be doing a video on these batteries these batteries are going to be hooked to lead acid so that's that's what we're doing now one of the kids found this out in the building in the back i've got a big barn it's an old old style barn you know the creepy um what would they call that uh children the corn barn so um this thing here is was found inside there it is still wrapped up it had the remnants of a cardboard box that was made for it and had a thing from TG&Y. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It was a store chain, uh, TG&Y Kresge or something like that. And this is where it came from. And this thing has literally been sitting out there forever. So we're going to be doing a little restore on this and I'll be showing it. And we're going to try to uh, upgrade it a little bit. And you can even see how old it is. Look at the rust coming off of it. Look at this. This this is the little outlet that's on it. Little little weird outlet, and the cord is non-polarized from the pre 1960s. Very rusty. So we're going to be using some evaporo rust, evapo rust, and restoring that. But y'all stay tuned. We're going to be doing the videos on the Li time batteries, which were amper time at one point, <laughs> but. Um, these batteries are the little mini batteries, so you can take a look. These things, that's a standard size case, a 31 series case, and this thing here is smaller than a 24 case. And the funny thing is, is Cure carry these in two at a time. They're that freaking light. They're really light. So we're going to do that, and hopefully Riley don't kick the bucket on us. You okay, Riley? Look at him. <laughs> you don't like the camera. And they'll fit where these... 27 series batteries this is 27 dcs they'll fit where these are right now in the same space and we're going to cable them in and we're going to use something kind of neat and if you're wondering does lithium will lithium work with lead acid of course it will of course it will you do have to set your lead acids for sla on your chargers but other than that there's a lithium battery right now right now that is wired you see this up to here and this is just a temporary jumper i know it's a temporary jumper they're connected this little lithium battery is connected to run all of these freezers so at night my voltage don't drop too low so this one's running right now it's 12 volts and let's see over here there's that big power smart and then there's 12.9 that's what the battery bank is sitting at just right before dark oh, can you see that that's really weird bright so it's 12.9 and that's because this is in the system so it don't allow it to sag you know right now it should be uh lower than 12.9 um all the controllers are pretty much off there's 12.9 right there these are all off just a little bit of uh coming in right now because it's 725 730 at night so it's just very little trinket of power coming in right now 
and but these do peak out at about 36 amps average each one these are 40 amp models and oop wrong button sorry and um so this is still showing charge coming in at that time of night so 13.3 volts so 0.46 amps right now coming in these are all shut off these are connected to the bambi trailer the bambi trailer look it's, it's dark kira's roses they're doing good guys biker mama you'll love them this is for this is for the pink biker mama that's what kira says um but these all up on the top of this they're all cabled back to the shop right now so that is that is right here yeah i just put some tape on keep the wind from blowing it but that's all these cables and they're going back to the shop which is 44 feet away so they're not giving their full power and hey pink biker lady you like that she grew that one for you just give you all a little rundown i'm gonna do a restoration video on that i think don't do many of those and we'll give you all some updates look forward to that video coming out real soon real soon i had to order cables I had to, uh, they're almost out of two eight, two gauge cable i can't can't really find it uh priced right i mean it's it's ridiculous price so waiting on some more of that to show up supposed to have been here a week ago you guys be good and there's more panels over there we're still at it we never stop <laughs>